Hello and welcome to ThingLink. In this short video we'll be looking at how you can create a ThingLink from scratch in some simple steps. To start, head over to thinglink.com and click login. Use the email address that you use to sign up for ThingLink and your password and click login. This will take you to your account page and in this view you'll be able to see any content you've created or folders that have been shared with you or you've created and you can hide those to make your interface look less busy. You also will see your profile picture and here you'll find your profile settings and also some projects and blog posts that we've curated to provide you with lots of inspiration. You'll also see a link to the 360 library and this has hundreds of professional 360 degree images which are exclusively for ThingLink users. To get started, you'll need to upload some files. These are your base media files. By clicking create, you can choose which media you'd like to upload. The pop-up window provides you with a range of ways to do this. You can simply drag and drop your files in, or you can choose to upload with a file picker, or you can choose to upload and pick from your Google Drive or your OneDrive. When ready, you're able to click continue and you'll be asked if you want to create a folder for these projects, which means that you can bundle all of those media files together in one folder. This is really useful if you're creating a virtual tour of a building or a trip or an expedition with multiple files. Or click skip. To get started, click on your media file that you've chosen to use. And the great thing about ThingLink is no matter whether you chose to upload and use an image, a video, or 360 media, the authoring experience is exactly the same. On your top bar, you'll see the edit icon. You'll also see a privacy settings icon. Here you can choose the visibility of your ThingLink whether this is for your organization, the public, unlisted, or private, and it's important to make sure you've chosen the right settings. You'll also have options to rename your thing link, add to a module, and this is for e-learning content, move to a folder, view the statistics of this particular thing link, clone and make a copy, or you can even change the background. Really useful if you've got lots of tags and you want to just switch out the background. So I'm going to use an organizational chart as my example thing link for you. And this might be something that you'd have printed, but having an interactive graphic, which you are in, able to share on a website or as an onboarding asset, gives it a much more interactive feel. Click the pen to edit. Now, no matter what media you chose to use, whether an image, a 360, or a video, the authoring experience is exactly the same, so you only ever have to learn one process. The first tag I'm going to show you is a plain text label. The default icon can be moved around and then choose the tag you wish to use. I'm going to show you a text label. Here you can add in a simple text label of up to 100 characters. You can also change the icon to one of over 300 icons and colorways that we've provided for you and click done. The next tag that I'm going to show you is our most powerful tag and that is text and media. And this can be any combination of text on its own media on its own or together. I'm going to make a welcome tag so that my audience and viewers can click on this tag and hear a welcome greeting from our CEO. 
it is this welcome text or this description text, as you can see, that will open up into immersive reader. This gives our viewers the options to read the text aloud, but to also change it into over 80 different languages. You also have the options to change the grammar and the text size, but you also have a picture dictionary as well. If you'd like to add images and video to your tag, you are now able to do this. By clicking on the plus button, you're able to select any images that you'd like to add. The viewer can click on the image and it makes it big. You can also add video and we have found that a simple video with a polite introduction and friendly welcome can make a lot of difference to engagement and images that are multiple or videos will play as a carousel. You can also choose to add a call to action button. And for example, this could be a website that you want people to go to. I have an expeditions blog post that I want to send my viewers to, and I'm just gonna paste that in there. You now have an additional feature where you can change that button text. And it's good to make this inviting. Click here for more information. You can also choose to upload audio, which would be an MP3 file, or you can record your voice directly into the ThingLink. This will then be saved in the tag and will play as soon as anyone opens the tag. You can add other media in, such as PNG files and GIF files, and all of these will play directly in the tag. You can also change the icon, not only just to the ones that we provided, but you can also upload your own icons, and these would be SVG graphics. Click done when ready, and here you can see I've got my welcome tag with my text, my media, and my call to action button. The next tag that I'd like to show you is how you can embed content from another website. There are lots of different apps and websites that can be embedded into an embed tag, pretty much all websites, and we've created a list that shows you the top ones that we see. I've decided to embed a Google map into my thing link. And if you paste in the embed code, this will create an interactive map that your audience will be able to engage with. And here you can change the icon into something appropriate. The last tag that I'd like to show you is our tour tag and that's how you link your thing links together by creating a tour you can link your thing links together and these can be any combination of images or videos or 360 media you can change the scene and choose whichever thing link you would like to link to you can also add in some simple text that shows the viewer what they're going to be clicking on. So here we have a sample of our work for our fictitious company. Another feature which is really useful is if you want to add in a question that you want people to get right in order to progress to that destination. This could be a quiz question or it could be a past phrase and the viewer would need to get that right before transitioning to the next scene. And again, you can change the tag to something more fitting. And that is how you would build a tour by linking your thing links together and linking your scenes. 
You can check the settings for your thing link as well. You can change the color scheme, disable the animation, which stops the tags from pulsing, and you can upload audio, which plays throughout the thing link. You'll also see now at the bottom right, there's also a related scenes icon that shows all the scenes that are linked to the tour, which I just toured with. When ready, click done and done again, and your thing link is now ready to share. Click the share button, and this gives you the option to embed your media into a website. You can share the link on social media and even create a QR code specifically for that thing link. You can also publish to social, and this includes Teams, Facebook, Twitter, and other social media platforms. We hope this has been useful in showing you how to create your thing link. And remember that this is your canvas. There are many, many ways in which you can use this. So please explore our inspiration blogs and examples. And we hope this has been helpful. We can't wait to see what you create.